welcome. Welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm Laura. I'm a Canva creator, ambassador for the UK and a digital designer. And I love to share my knowledge with you. And today I'm coming to you with a fantastic brand new feature that has just been released in Canva. It's tables. Now this has been rolled out to everybody. It should be available in your Canva account and you can now create tables in Canva, which are brilliant. Not only are they good for giving information, so creating presentations and projects, you can actually create a table now, but they're also good for things like calendars and diary pages and appointment pages, anything where you have information that you want to present in a good looking, interesting way, you can now create tables in Canva. So here we go, quick super video. Um, we're going to go over to my screen and I will show you what it's all about. Right, so here we go. Creating tables in Canva is a thing. So basically, I have just opened up a blank template. I've gone over to my element section and I've typed in table and it brings up these boxes here. Now these are editable tables now available in Canva. They're still in beta mode, so there may be some little quirks with them, but they will be sorted out pronto. I know that Canva will sort them out brilliantly. So how do we edit a table? How do we create something using these? We've got different colors, gray, red, yellow, blue, and purple. So there's five main colors at the moment. I'm gonna select a pinky ready colored one. We can change this table in several different ways. We can change the color here of the table. We can change the color and the thickness of the individual lines of the table. And we can change the spacings of the tables as well. So I shall show you, I'm gonna highlight this top row. So I've selected those three boxes and I'm going to change the color of the lines within. So this will then show you what you can change within your selected period. Okay, so if I select this one and go down to this one, I can then make that bottom line thick, or the line around thicker, <clears throat> and I can change the color. I could go for a nice tealy color and then we have our border if i want to change the color on the inside i highlight my row and i select a different color if i want to change the lines if i highlight so if i've highlighted the whole lot and i want to change all of the lines color I can choose that for example and it changes all of the lines color so you can customize the look and styling of these templates okay so i can change the table spacing as well this changes the space between your individual um, sections within your table so if you wanted a gap you can have a gap this one doesn't seem to do anything at the moment but i'm sure that one will soon um, I'm thinking these will be good for calendars, diary pages, different things like that. There's probably 101 uses for something like this. Um, so I'm thinking I'm going to make, say, a weekly planner page. I want to just stretch this out just to fill my template. I'll probably bring it in a bit because I will add... I will add a header or something up here. As you just saw, one thing you can do is you can move the individual lines just by dragging them within the template. It's this one as well. So I can move the size of my columns as easy as anything. But I don't want to move them, I want to keep them equal, I just want to add more. Okay, so these little dots at the side will do that. If I click on the one at the top, it will then add in columns for me. I can add in columns, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, so Saturday, Sunday. 
So also you have here, you can delete a column. It'll highlight it in red for you. You can add columns before or after if you've already got information in. You can move them from right to left if you want to move the information around. And then you can size them so they are different sizes or they are equal. This one here, um, if we add some rows, I'm not sure what I will use these rows for, but they could be times, for example. Let's move you up a bit so we can see what we've got. And then you start to get an idea of what you can do. I have got thick lines here because I've been copying rows from the top and the top has got the border around. So I'm just going to highlight everything. So I've got this section highlighted because I just want to change the thickness. to something <clears throat> that looks a little more pleasing. And then I can dive into these individual boxes. So Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. And then if I wanted, I could put uh, 9 a.m., 10 a.m. I could use this as a diary planner, 11 a.m. And then I can add in what I've got going on as and when in these boxes. Okay, so 12 p.m., 1 p.m., 2 p.m., and then say 3 p.m. I can add up here, um, we can put in my week, quick title. I will change the font to something nicer. And then you start to get a weekly planner page using Canvas grids. Now, for example, if I have a, um, a meeting here, and I want this to stand out, I can change the color of this box. I can highlight it. I can add over here, um, so say on take boys out for lunch. The more text you add in, it pulls down the box so it fits in nicely. I can highlight that and then add that as a color as well. So you can do a lot with these. You can create some really amazing graphics now with these tables. So this is just a quick overview of what you can do with the Canva tables. You can add in multiple columns on either or columns or rows. You can resize them. You can drag the, drag the lines up and down yourselves if you want to um, reduce or change the sizing of any of your columns. You can create as many as you want either way. See, I could just highlight this column as well and change the color. Uh, what did we go for? So I've got them down here. Um, and also you have all of your features and functions with fonts as well. So I could just make them bold because they are header times and then you're beginning to get a lovely graphic. Okay, so that is just a super, super duper quick tutorial here on how you create tables. So I hope you enjoyed that. Just a short, quick tutorial on creating tables, how to do it. We looked at creating a weekly planner. It's very simple and easy to do. You could even print this out and just write in it yourself, put it up on your board, something like that.
but yeah just super quick video showing you how to create a table in canva i hope you've enjoyed this if you have please be sure to follow my channel because i have got lots of videos planned all on canva different features coming up throughout the whole of this year